welcome back to another GTA 5 San Andreas Mercenaries DLC and today we're going to be customizing the D-Class Walton L35 which is roughly priced just just under 1.7 mil million and it's in the uh, it's in the two-door class and I think it's like an off-road vehicle so if you do enjoy make sure you have a like comment your favorite car in GTA 5 it could be like past DLCs or new DLCs it's whatever's in the game or what's been removed uh, subscribe if you're new turn, turn post notifications on and without further ado let's customize the Walton L35 and I've gone to the HSW LS car meet because I don't know if it's got the HSW on it so I wanted to do that to make sure and it's a lot easier than having to get me a Venge or anything like that just in case it does have HSW so armor, brakes, bumpers we got the front bumper delete so it basically deletes the front of that bumper got the bull bar which I do like these ones because it makes it a lot easier to push things out of the way we've got the low bars secondary we've got the bull bar with the fog lights secondary full setup bar full setup bull bars so that means like it's just greyed around and that's it uh, I think I might go with Uh, I think I might just go with a bull bar, this one. For the rear, we get removed, but remove the bumper. We've got the heavy duty rear bumper in the secondary. And to match the front, we'll go for the heavy duty one. Engine exhaust. You can see the exhaust. So we've got the stock. We've got the side exits exhaust where they go diagonal. We've got the slated. And we've got the chrome, which looks like it puts the other side there. I think I might go with just the stairs at stock for now, but unless I see, let's uh, I'll come back to that one. So for the fenders, we got delete trim, arch lips, which looks like it brings them a little, pops it out a bit. Secondary extended secondary bolted so basically it's just the same as the extended but with the ones with the bolts on it so for this we'll go with probably this one the grill I don't think we'll be able to see the grill because it's covered Uh, can't quite see it, so we'll be going with. I can quite kind of see it, but not completely. We'll go with this one. Hood. We'll go uh, the clean hood. We got the vent vented clean. Oh, it adds the little vents in the front of it. We got the. 
power induction hood. We've got the equipment hood. The snorkel. Another one. A full set, which adds all of them. Uh, I think I might go with this one. Lights. Uh, we'll add that onto it. Can you even see that? Oh yeah, you can. So, uh, uh, liveries will come back to those. We don't know what colour we're going to go with. Uh, hmm. Let's have a look at the metallics. Mm. I do like the mountain do uh, green, which I might might do you know got base and green I might go with this one. Uh, secondary. Oh, it's the little things underneath there. Trim, which looks like it's inside. We'll keep it black. Roll cage, uh, we've got the half cage, full cage with changed seats, uh, roll cage with padded, rally cage with seats, and we have the padded ones, but we won't need that. Uh, roof, got this rally scoop, scope, a scoop with the antenna, the light bar with the antenna uh, roof rack and then lights which we'll just go with the lights on this one yeah let's go with the lights one skirts uh, we got the short mud flaps for wide uh, step plates, secondary step plates, which doesn't look so different. Cause it's the same colour. Uh, light weight step bar, low profile step bar, secondary as well. Uh, let's just change the secondary to a. I'm just going to do a test on here, just to test it, see what changes. Ah, oh, so if I change that to the a black, that would That is a tricky one to do. Um, I 
I think I might go with the light bar for that one. Tailgate. Uh, we've got the black tailgate, which doesn't change anything. Oh, we've got the D-class uh, nameplate. And then, oh, it just changes the style, the colours. Transmission, trunk bed. So we've got the bed cover. We've got the tarp cover, which looks like it just puts like a tarp piece over it. Retro cut bed cover. Classic bed cover. Out, outer cage. Outer cage braced. Don't definitely not need that one because we've got two lights there. Uh, small stature cage. The rally rally setup cage. The heavy duty cage. Full setup. And got the long range rally setup. And the repair setup. Um, if I had to go with any, probably the between the retro bed bed one. Yeah, between the retro bed and this one, and the bed cover one. Huh. I think I might go with the this one, the retro. Turbo Tire Oh love look on the off road. So the standard versus those ones, it just makes it a lot... Um, I'm thinking between the Dune and the Challenger style. I'll go with the dune and see it see if it looks any any good. So what was the respray that I do? I do yellow. Could do a better. So these are all the liveries. test something because I've got plenty of money. I'm going to do... let me try primary... I don't, I don't look half bad. Well, is it black? Oh, that's a menacing colour. I think I might go with the white on it. I 
ice white. I think I might have to go with the purple because that white doesn't look the strongest. Uh, I think this one's the closest to the colour. I think I might go with the light so it's not too blinding. And we are done. Let's go and take it outside and see what is what the speed is and let's do an overall like test outside. Hey, so uh I know you've been there already. Good, pretty good. Now let's take a look at the interior. Uh, it's a pretty nice interior. The engine it is looks like it's using looks like a V7. Is it a V7 or V9? Can't tell. But it's, overall, it's not, it's not a bad truck, to be honest. Sounds pretty good. So let's close this all up. Uh, overall it's a pretty nice car and 
if you guys did enjoy, make sure to leave a like, subscribe if you're new, turn post notifications on, and comment down your favourite GTA vehicle in GTA Online. So it could be the very first day that it came out, or it could be right now. Let me know down in the comments, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Scott Gaming.